All right, hello there. And in this video, we are going to solve the previous exercise that has to calculate your monthly salary, yours or maybe some some of your friends. So how should you approach this exercise? So you have to write a program that gets salary, which is calculated as kind of, let's say, dollars per hour. Okay, and also what you have to do is to get a total hours worked, right, worked in a month. Okay, so that will be just hours. And we know that once we have this information, we will be able to tell how much money uh, we've made or some other employee made uh, during a given month. So it's going to be not so complicated we have to create two variables, two variables in salary, okay? Basically, let's do it like, I don't know, let's use maybe instead of int, probably is going to be of a floating point type, so float salary, and also we will specify total hours. So total hours, of course, this variable too may be of a floating point type, that's also okay. Uh, I'm just using int for convenience, for my convenience. So <clears throat> let's say now. Now what we have to do is to run this printf, enter or insert, I, it doesn't matter, enter your salary, salary per hour, okay, per hour. So that's what the user is requested to do and we are going to use uh, scanf to read this information and store it inside of the salary variable, so salary. That's it. Now what we will have to also do is to read the total hours. So enter the number of hours you worked in the last month, for example, okay? And <clears throat> now what we have to do is to use this kind of function to read this information using percentage %t and store it inside of total hours. Okay, guys? Once again, nothing very complicated, just using printf and scanf to read the information. And now the final part, how should we calculate the money that we've made in a given month? So printf your expected, expected salary should be and percentage %f. And what do you think should be printed instead of this percentage %f? So we said we have the salary per hour, okay? Salary per hour. And <clears throat> we have the total amount of hours that we worked. So we simply will multiply salary multiplied by total hours. That's it. That's how you calculate it. Now let's build and run it and make sure that we run a simple example in this example works as we expected. So enter your salary per hour, let's say, I don't know, $50 per hour, you're an expert, and enter the number of hours you worked in the last month. So let's say you worked about 200 hours. So your expected salary should be 10,000. Awesome, guys. So just to limit the result, just use here, Point two. Let's run it once again. So 50, 200, and $1,000 is your expected salary. If you've made, uh, if you've worked 50, uh, if you've worked 200 hours uh, and 50 hours per, uh, $50 per hour is your price. So that's your final salary. So awesome. Make sure you compare it with the salary that the boss pays you, right? Because now you're an expert and you can write a program that will calculate it for you. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day.